Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and I decided today that hey, I'm going to my next job tomorrow. Why not make a video for you guys on everything that I bring along with me on a detailing job. So keep in mind, I am from Ohio, more specifically Sandusky, Ohio. I do a lot of work off Lake Erie and right now it is March. So I'm still working indoors. So this today is gonna be everything that I bring with me on an inside storage detail. So guys, sit back and relax. We're gonna jump into the video right now. Here's what's gonna happen. I'm going to explain everything I'm bringing with me and then I'm gonna load it into the van and get ready for tomorrow. So guys, first things up, let's get the simple and easy one out of the way. Obviously, you guys will have to determine uh, what size boats are you working on and you'll have to decide what size ladder you need. This works great for me. On average, I work on a 30 to 35 foot boat. So let's get this ladder loaded in. The next thing that I usually bring with me is going to be, this is a craftsman wheelchair where you can kind of wheel around. You can work on things underneath the swim platform. You can put on tape. This makes it really nice if you're inside and you have the opportunity to roll around on concrete. This will make your life a lot easier. So this is something I will bring with me Typically, uh, not all the times, but if it makes sense, I will bring this with me. This is Craftsman, so you guys can get this on Amazon. Um, it's probably the best option, or you can go to a local hardware store. You can go to Lowe's, you can go to Home Depot and pick this up. Very useful. Now, I have two of these. These are little step stools. Again, I work on about 30 to 35 feet boat, so the tallness of them is not very tall. I can usually reach most of the hull on something like this so this is perfect for me but remember guys if you're in florida if you're working on 90 foot boats 70 foot boats this is not going to do much for you but this works great for me uh, another thing that i'm not bringing on this job but i will sometimes is a scaffolding so if you need a scaffolding pick one pick one of those up too guys uh very useful very helpful you got to have the things that you need to do the work always make sure that you have led lights or some sort of lighting system where you can check on your work you make sure that you're getting all the scratches out, you're getting all the oxidation. Um, when you look into a light and you shine down the fiberglass, you can see every little detail that you need. And as a detailer, this is perfect because if you can get the condition perfect in the light, then it'll be perfect outside, it'll be perfect in any other situation. So I like to carry these LED lights. These are just little foldable lights that kind of uh, sit on the floor. I can kind of shine them wherever I want. I got two of these and then I also have a dual stand one that I'm not bringing on this job, but this will be bigger. Um, maybe I'm working on a bigger boat where I just need more lights. Um, you can have a dual one as well. So whether it's this one or the dual one that sits up on a stand, guys, you gotta have some sort of lighting system if you're indoors like I am. Okay, now we have a shop vac. So this is a Armor All 2 HP Peak Vacuum. Guys, this is the perfect shop vacuum for boat detailing. It's a wet and dry vac. I believe it holds, yeah, it holds two or 2.5 gallons. And wet and dry, you can soak up water, you can soak up dust, obviously, soak up dust, anything. Um, perfect size, it's easy, it's light, easy to carry around, it's not heavy, you can fit it anywhere. Um, honestly, just a great uh, little vacuum, and it's under $50, under $50, you cannot beat this, it lasts, it works well, it has a, a very strong uh, suction to it, so just an amazing vacuum, guys. I really recommend you get something like this. This works perfect. Now I'm not going to need this on this current job, but I like to carry sandpaper around. So this is hand sandpaper. If I have to do any spot sanding, this works and comes in perfectly. I have a thousand, two thousand, fifteen hundred grit. Really any grit that I would need to do a spot sanding um, is in this bag right here. Uh, really actually a great thing. Also if you have to do hatches, sometimes you can use two thousand clean out hatches because some of these hatches are super dirty and some of these degreasers and stuff like that is just not going to cut through so always carry sandpaper on you as a detailer this stuff comes in handy all the time more than you would think all right next up i have this big dewalt bag where i carry four dewalt buffers uh, this is a great carrying bag it is heavy duty it carries a lot of buffers you can throw a lot of stuff in here so this is a great bag if you're looking for a carrying bag I believe you can get this on Amazon 
Um, but anyways, I carry I carry four DeWalt buffers in this bag. Now, recently I've been doing a lot of the work by myself, so this is kind of overkill. But, you know, this is a great way to store your stuff. Um, you can either store it in a bag or a box. I really like these carrying bags that some of, the, some of these companies make. So, this is where I store all my buffers. This is a DeWalt buffer, works very well. It's uh, industry, industry standard towards the higher end of the boating market. And, yeah, this is a great tool. It works well. It's, it's uh, you know, pretty... You know, very heavy duty, pretty easy to run, uh, very powerful, and it lasts forever. I think I've had some of these buffers for like two years, and I work almost every day. You know, I use these almost <laughs> almost every day, so just a great all-around buffer. You can get these on Amazon. That's probably the best place. Um, maybe you can find it at a hardware store, but you better check around because I'm, I'm not sure how much they actually carry these. So right now I carry one Makita buffer. So I just tested and I just wanted to try some Makita buffers. I've always used DeWalt in the past, but I've heard good things about Makita. So I bought one and this is the case that it comes in. Yes, it's a small case. You can only really carry about one buffer in it. So, you know, if you have multiple Makita buffers, you're going to want to have a box or a bigger bag to carry all of them in. You're not going to want to carry five of these separate little bags around. But Makita buffer, again, this is probably the industry standard for the boat detailing business. So here's the Makita buffer, very similar set to the, to the DeWalt, very heavy duty, um, very powerful. I'm guessing that it probably does last as well. The numbering system's a little different. This has numbers, whereas the DeWalt actually has the RPMs where you can adjust. Um, so very similar. The trigger on the Makita, you press the trigger in and then it's a slow start, whereas the DeWalt buffers, you press the trigger and it immediately goes up to speed so very slight differences you'd have to try them out for yourself um if i had to pick one i mean honestly guys they're so similar i'd maybe just give the edge to makita but because you know i like the trigger and i like the feel of it but you, you really can't go wrong these are a little more expensive but again another great tool you guys ha you gotta have good buffers don't go cheap don't go to harbor freight if you're a detailer um even if you're a boat owner guys these these cheap cheaply made buffers they just they don't last and they're not powerful enough they're not going to cut out the oxidation that you're probably looking for so definitely go and stick with the higher end if out of any tool that I recommend in the industry um, have a good buffer you know anything else you can get away with cheaper tools but you need to have a good buffer this is pretty obvious I'm not going to talk too much about this extension cords uh, you can either store these if you have a van you can put them on a hook. You can put them in a box. I like to put them in a crate. Works well for me, and I carry about seven or eight of these. So plenty of cords, uh, definitely enough for what I'm looking for. So this is perfect. And now also, I do like to carry a couple of triple adapters so you have more options to plug in more things, such as chargers, battery chargers, and, and you know maybe you want to charge your phone or something. So yeah, I always recommend carry a triple adapter one or two of those always comes in handy. All right, now we have a Milwaukee tool. So guys, you'll notice that I use, I pretty much use the best brand because I want stuff that lasts, I want quality stuff. Uh, this is for the business, I want things to last. So I'm gonna go high brand on all my tools. So Milwaukee is another brand. So you'll see that I carry DeWalt, Milwaukee, and Makita. Those are the three brands that I tend to use. So what do I have in here? Well, once I get it open. So we have an impact, check this out, little batteries. We have an impact where I can, so this comes in very handy when I need to remove screws, remove uh, different pieces on the boat. Guys, almost every single job I have to remove something to make my detailing experience easier. easier. So if you have screws, you have snap-ons, I like to remove all these stuff, all this stuff because it's so hard to sit there and try to buff around all these snap-ons, guys. Just take them out and then put them back in. Use a 3M, or it doesn't have to be 3M, but use a marine, uh, marine grade sealant that's waterproof when you put the screws back in and you're going to be all set, you're, you're going to be all good to go. So very handy tool. Now this you can get on Amazon or you can actually, I think I got this at Home Depot. Um, it comes in a pack, you get a impact and you get a drill. So I pretty much just use the impact. But again, this comes with 
Uh, it comes with two little two little batteries, which last a good amount of time. For they're an M12 lithium 1.5 battery, so you're gonna get an hour or two worth out of these if you're gonna be using this constantly, which that's pretty good time. This is the charger. This is the charger that it comes with. Um, like yeah, like I said, it's convenient. You get two batteries, and they last. So a great tool. Uh, if you don't like this, you can just buy a regular impact. That'll work as well. I forgot to mention, I also carry this little Milwaukee uh, bit case. So this gives me a bunch of options of different bits in case I'd ever come across something where I need a different bit for my impact. Right, what's up next? Another Milwaukee tool. This is an interesting tool. I think you guys are really going to like this one. So what I have here... Again, another compatible, easy battery. Um, I like this Milwaukee. I like these mini tools because all these batteries are compatible with all their, all their stuff and all their power tools. And they have a lot of these mini tools out there. So this is actually a mini polisher. So hang on one second. Here is the pad I use. This is a cutting wool pad. And check this out. You put the pad on like that. And there's two settings. There's setting number one and setting number two. I only use setting number one. It's great for buffing, polishing. Setting two is good for sanding. This is a perfect tool when you need to get into small spaces on a boat that you can't reach with a big buffer. This tool is incredible. Um, it's three inches is the backing plate. So just a great tool to get around. Maybe you have, you know, up by the helm where you have to get in between all the little controls or maybe by rails, anything like that, by uh, cleats. This tool is amazing. Definitely recommend you can get this on Amazon. Guys, all these products, or at least most of these products, will be in the description below, so you can click on them, you can buy them. I'm here to help you guys. I hope this video has been super valuable up to this point. Make sure you stay till the end because guys, the value that you're getting out of this, if you're a detailer, if you're a boat owner, this is necessary information that you'll want to know so that you can do the best work for your boat or your client's boat. Now that you saw the mini polisher, I'm going to have to go through the pads. So this is the mini compounding wool pad that I use. This is a Lake Country 3.5 inch foam polishing pad that I use for the mini as well. And then this is a, I think, yeah, it's a Griot's Garage. This is a red a waxing pad so this works as well so I have three pads for the mini I have a wool cutting pad I have a polishing pad and a waxing pad all right so now that we're still on the topic of pads might as well run through all the big pads that I use pretty much all the pads that I use in the business these are the necessary ones that you're gonna want to have so this is the standard uh, this is a yeah standard buff and shine wool compounding pad guys there's so many brands out there I like to use buff and shine they're cheap, their pads are pretty quality for, for the price, and they're gonna last. They actually last pretty well. They do tend to, they are very, you know, when you first start using the pad, they're gonna fly a lot of wool all over the place, but that's very typical of these wool pads. So a perfect wool compounding pad, buff and shine, double-sided, and it screws on. You just have to have a mini adapter that you can screw onto the pad, which then screws onto your buffer. So this gets used for first round cutting and pretty much any cutting that I need to do, any heavy cutting, any heavy or second round heavy cutting that I do in the business, I use this pad. Pad number two that I use, this is a light cutting pad or a polishing pad. Now I use this for light cutting because I don't polish with wool pads. So this is my perfect light to medium cutting pad. This is a yellow, yellow wool pad from 3M. Guys, again, all this stuff can get uh, purchased in the link below so I can help you guys out. Just go down there and find what you need. This is my second round pad, and guys, I love this pad. It lasts, it works well, it cuts, it gives like that good, good prep finish to what I'm looking for to then polish with. So these are the only two wool pads that I will use in the business. Then we go to our polishing pads. So here I have three polishing pads. You're gonna wanna make your decision based off the boat, the boat's condition, the fiberglass, you know, what is the condition? Is there still a decent amount of scratches that you have to get out? Is there a little bit of oxidation still? Are you waxing? What are you doing? So pretty much there are three different levels of polishing pads that I will use. 
So this is a heavy cut polishing pad. So this is a gray Lake Country foam pad that you can get in the description of below, get below again. And this is a stiff, you now guys, this is a stiff pad. This stuff will do some cutting. Um, it is pretty stiff, so you're not gonna wanna use this as a light finish. This is for when you have to get some scratches out, you wanna get a little oxidation out. Uh, maybe you're doing, I, I like to use this pad a lot on my full restorations because this pad just works and it's a really a heavy duty polishing pad that you can use with the flex, which I will be showing you guys later. So that's pad number one. This is the most common pad and the most common pad that most detailers and probably you are gonna use. This is a light cutting to a, you know, I guess heavy duty polishing pad. This is a Orange Lake Country foam pad again. And this is pretty much the standard. If you need to do any regular polishing, you're gonna to wanna to go with this pad. This is a perfect pad for getting that finish that you desire. And then we have the white pad. So this is a pure polishing pad, the white pad. It's very soft. Um, this is when you're looking for a fine, a perfect finish. So this you are gonna use on colored hauls, possibly, not for sure, but if you're running into an issue where you have a colored haul and you're seeing swirls or something, or you're just seeing a little bit of you know marks, you wanna use this pad because this is gonna clean most of that up. And if you're doing a ceramic job, you can go with this pad because you wanna get that perfect finish so that you can apply that ceramic coating. I rarely use this pad, but if I need it, I have it. Last and final pad. This is a microfiber, or the, actually this is not the final pad, but this is a microfiber waxing pad. So when do I use this? Well, I'm not a huge fan of this pad, but I will use it on smooth non-skid. I will wax smooth non-skid with this, and this works amazing. Um, it's just really, honestly, an incredible pad for that purpose. Now, to actually use this to wax the boat with, the fiberglass, the smooth fiberglass, I don't recommend this. I don't like to finish the leaves. It's just really hard to see, and guys, just not a big fan. But if you're doing non-skid, get this pad. If you're doing a ceramic job, you could use this pad if you really wanted to. Now we're on to our final and last pad. So this is our waxing pad. So I love applying my polymer sealant or my wax, which in my case, I don't really use wax. I use polymer sealant because it lasts longer. So this is my go-to pad. This is a Rupes high performance fine polishing pad. This is a yellow pad. This is what it comes in. And guys, an incredible pad. Um, it's, you know, it's gonna last. It's pretty soft. It leaves a good finish. You can see exactly what's going on. It doesn't build up too fast. It's perfect size, it's about five inches. And yeah, that's all there is to say about it. A great pad. If you're gonna, if you're looking for a waxing pad or you're struggling to find a good one, this is the pad that you want right here. Another simple and obviously pretty obvious thing that you need to have, microfiber. So I just have a bucket full of microfiber tiles, plus the bucket comes in handy when I need a bucket for water or whatever it is when I'm using dirty tiles. You know, buckets are great to have and obviously that's pretty standard. And yeah, I got two sure, sure hold buckets. The reason I like these buckets is because they have a rope handle, which makes it perfect. These aren't gonna break on you, so I love to use these. In the business and I love to use them even when I'm washing boats just a great well-made bucket you can actually you guys can get these on surehold.com or maybe Amazon I'm not sure but they're only pretty much available yeah you have to go through surehold in some sort way shape or form next up we have a mini leaf blower I think you guys are gonna really like this one so check this out as I get this out of the bag oh guys here is this uh, adhesive sealant so when you're putting screws or snap-ons or anything back into the boat that's on the top side or even on the transom, you'll want to use this marine sealant because this will make sure that no water is getting inside of your boat right here. You can see it. This is uh, Loctite. This is marine adhesive sealant. Works great. Sometimes I just throw random products in random bags, guys. It just happens. Uh, I get unorganized at times. I try to clean my equipment. You know, I try to do it every couple months, but it doesn't always happen. It depends, you know, how busy I am and if I have the chance to do that. So this is the, I don't know how you pronounce it, if it's Kimo, I think it's Kimo. Um, this is a Kimo 20 B Lithium. This is a leaf blower, guys. This thing is amazing. It's a 
it's pretty much a mini leaf blower and this is perfect if, if you're washing boats you can blow off leaves if you're compounding a boat you can blow off all the compound dust which is just apt to happen this thing comes in handy more than you you would ever imagine. This is probably one of my most useful tools that I use that it just I'm so grateful to have. So make sure you get a leaf blower guys. This tool, it just it's necessary. Trust me, it's necessary. Check it out, another Milwaukee, but it's just a bag, it's not tools. So Milwaukee bag, I like to keep my so guys, here is this is the Flex 3401 BRG. This is a polisher. So this tool is a versatile tool. You can use this for light buffing with these foam pads. Um, they actually make wool pads too for them. I don't use those. But guys, this is a about a four to five hundred dollar polisher. So it's the Flex 3401 BRG. It's a very similar to the Rubez line. If you know anything about Rubez, it's a very similar tool. It's a FA, which is a forced action tool. So no matter how hard you press, this thing will keep spinning. So that's what makes it different than a DA polisher versus a rotary buffer. It's like an in-between mix of both of those. So this is a standard in the industry. You need to have some sort of tool like this. This will make your polishing easier. Now, is this tool easy to run? No, it's very hard to run. Um, it's gonna take you some time to really learn how to, I guess, maneuver it so that you're not killing yourself. But here it is. You can get this on Amazon or Honestly, uh, there's other places that sell as well. You can get this at Marine Detail Supply, I'm pretty sure. So here it is, here's the tool. Um, again, something you'll wanna have. And then our third and final machine, I guess, so to speak, polisher machine that you'll wanna have is some, you wanna have some sort of dual action polisher. So a dual action polisher, this is something where it's going to pivot in kind of like an orbital shape, but the harder you press, the less it's going to spin and the more it's going to vibrate. Pretty much, guys, this you only want to use this tool. You, you don't want to use it for polishing. It doesn't really work well. You want to use this for waxing and waxing only. This is Griot's Garage. Um, this is their DA polisher, and it costs about 160 bucks, I believe. And it's a great polisher. I think it lasts, but I've only had it for a couple months. And it's worked very well so far. So obviously, there's higher end. DA polishers out there, that's up to you if you guys want to go that route. This is probably a medium level in terms of cost, but it works and it's effective. Again, only use this for waxing, that's really all it's good for. I usually carry two of these. These are just knee pads, so if I'm working up top on the top side on the non-skid, this will save your knees. Just a quick little convenient thing to have. 3M Scotch Blue Tape, this is the best tape that I have found for the marine industry for actually sticking to the bottom paint when you're trying to tape off the water line or sticking to really anything that you're trying to tape off if you're taping off plastic or metal or rails or anything this stuff works it's sticky it will actually work guys a lot of other brands out there you don't want to go cheap i know it sounds kind of bad but you don't want to go cheap on the tape um yeah and yeah it's just tape but this stuff actually sticks and actually works if you buy cheap tape it's not going to stick to the boat so always buy 3M Scotch Blue Original Tape. I carry nitrate gloves, and this is good for pretty much, yeah, when I apply wax or when I'm doing my alcohol spray, I will wear gloves. This is what I use towards the end of the process in terms of detailing. So again, just a standard thing, um, something good to have on you. Uh, gloves, if you're using acid, good to have these gloves. Um, pretty basic, pretty simple. This is plastic wrap. So this is painter's plastic wrap. I can use this when I'm covering uh, maybe the boat I'm working on or other, cus or not necessarily customers, but other boats ar around the boat that I'm working on to keep other people's boats from getting dirty. So, or I can actually put this on the ground if I'm doing a sanding job indoors. So it's very, very useful to have on you guys. So plastic, if you're working in indoors a lot, plastic is something just, it's nice to have, it's convenient and it will save you time. Um, well, it'll save you money, it'll save you hassles. People get mad when you're flying compound dust onto their boat. So I guess I work in very tight spaces, so this is great to have. Since I get very limited in terms of water, I always carry one or two of these gallon jugs of water because you never know when you need water. When you're cleaning non-skid, you need water. When you're cleaning teak, anything like that, it's good to have some water on you. 
So sometimes I literally have no access to water in these buildings, so I always carry extra water with me. Another very useful thing to have, magic erasers. This is Mr. Clean Magic Erasers. This I use on every job. It doesn't matter what I'm doing. Um, I clean seats with these. Um, anything that I need to clean really good, I use a magic eraser. Sometimes I use these for hatch tracks. Again, Mr. Clean, these are incredible. All right, we're getting down towards the end, guys, so stay with me. This is the most valuable part of the entire video, so stick with me. This is where I get into the products that I actually use for the boats. So let's start digging through these last three crates, and we're going to see what I actually carry with me when I'm cleaning and when I'm detailing. So this is Imar Stratoglass Cleaner. This is a protective cleaner for Isoglass. Now, I only use this on Isoglass, nothing else. This is maintenance purposes only. It's not a sealant. It's literally a protective cleaner that protects against UV protection. Good maintenance product uh, was recommended by my canvas guy, and I've been using this for a while now. Um, I really don't like to use a whole lot of things on Isoglass. This is one of the only things that we use other than a possibly like a Jess Car power lock in terms of a sealant. Um, I'm very particular, guys. There's a lot of crappy products out there um, that can ruin your eyes and glass. So I stick to this one. This one is pretty good in terms of cleaning and protecting. Next up, we got 303 Protectant. This is great for vinyl seats. This is good for plastic. Um, just a great plastic and vinyl seat protectant. Uh, it shines up the seat. It makes it... You know, it adds oil into it. Really a good product. Um, there's, I've tried a lot of different products. This one's definitely one of the best. And it's a multi-purpose use. It repels dirt, dust, and staining. It's non-greasy and prevents fading and cracking. This is just the average glass cleaner. And this is Freyway. So guys, I literally get this at Walmart. It works, it cleans the windows very nice. So you don't have to go fancy on that one. I got a pair of scissors. You never know when you need scissors or a knife or something. So this comes in handy. I always carry, this is a metal uh, razor blade. I also have plastic as well. So these come in handy for removing decals, stickers, or you know sometimes if you have caulk or something that you need to remove or sealant, this stuff works good. So I always love to carry this on me because honestly sometimes I need it and I am glad I have it. This is a Craftsman LED light. This is great as a detailer where I can check my work, make sure it's good. This you can get on Amazon, I got a two pack of these. This is also very useful. All right guys, this is Colonite Metal Wax. I love Colonite Metal Wax, this stuff is awesome. It is basically a medium cut polish. It removes corrosion, prevents rust, and it's a wax. It's an all-in-one product. This stuff cleans, protects, waxes. You'll notice after you're done waxing, so pretty much I get an applicator, I put this on, and I let it sit on the uh, any bright work I'm doing, whether that's rails, cleats. I let it sit on there for a minute, and then I wipe it off. And you can literally, when you feel it, you'll tell that it's waxed. So guys, this is an awesome product. Um, if you're doing a sport fishing boat, or really any boat, you know, most boats have bow rails, so just an amazing product. I've been super happy with this ever since I've been using it. Now, of course, if you want extended life, you can go with a ceramic coating, but if not, this is the go-to. Speaking of polymer sealants, this is Stark Hyper Hold. So guys, this is a great marine sealant. This is specifically made for marine paints and fiberglass. So this is my go-to. It's called Hyper Hold and yeah, it's my go-to because it's easy to work with. It's easy to wipe off, leaves an amazing shine. Uh, when I first started using this, I wasn't sure it really left a great shine, but now that I've been using it more, I can really see that actually, yes, it does. This is just the best. I, I really do. I think this is the best product out there. Um, and we're gonna find out this summer because it's, it's still newer to me, but we're gonna find out how long it really lasts. This stuff wipes off like fairy dust. I'm not even kidding. You put this stuff on, you let it sit for at least a half hour. If not, let it sit longer. This stuff, it almost, I know this isn't what actually happens, but it almost feels like as this stuff dries, it turns into like a dust because literally when you wipe this off, sometimes you won't even be able to tell that you're wiping off product. So just a really easy and I guess friendly product to work with. This is a Manzerna product. This is a medium cut polish. I will use this rarely, but sometimes I will use this medium cut polish. This is a car product, but works good as a polish, a finer polish on a boat. So 
Sometimes I will use this, but usually I will typically actually, I will use the Minzerna. They have a, actually, it's called the Heavy Cut Compound. I would normally use that one as my polish, but this is for finer polishing. This is 3M Heavy Cut Compound. So guys, I want to make here, hang on one second. I want to give you guys all my compounds at one time, so let's go ahead and work down the line. So guys, this is Stark Level R. This is my go-to cutting compound. And this is for many reasons. Number one, it's pretty much the most abrasive. Um, it's a diminishing abrasive, by the way. As you work this compound into the boat with your pad, it's gonna break down into a polish, so it's gonna leave a shine that you're not gonna get with typical heavy cut compounds on the market. So it has a great cutting power and really just a amazing product. Level R, for in terms of Stark, this is one of their best products they make other than Hyperhold. It's Stark Level R Heavy Cutting Compound. Removes 600 to 800 sand scratches and leaves a pretty good shine. So if you're trying to skip some steps, get away with a little bit more, use this product. Now, the second in line product, this moves, removes 800 sand scratches. This is 3M Heavy Cutting Compound. Now guys, I am an experimenter, I'm creative, so sometimes I will actually mix Start Level R with this because this is not a diminishing abrasive, so this is gonna have a little bit more cutting power. This is gonna take longer to break down. Well, in fact, it's not really gonna break down, so it's gonna come off the pad. So this will take longer to work in. So sometimes I'll mix this with this, kind of get the best of both. I want that extra sanding power along with the diminishing abrasive of this. So I'll get creative. Guys, if you're not advanced, don't worry about that. But um, this is the second. I'm pretty much going down the line from heaviest to lightest cutting compound that I actually use. So Stark Level R is the heaviest cutting compound I use. This is second, this removes 800 sand scratches and this is 3M heavy cutting compound. Third in line is going to be, hang on, yep, it's going to be 3M marine compound and finishing material. Guys, I love this product, but it is so freaking expensive. Like literally, it's like 200 bucks per gallon and honestly at this point, I don't even think you can even really find it anymore. It, it's, that, it's that expensive, it's that in demand and it's a great product because it leaves an incredible finish. It gets, it cuts out oxidation. It removes 800 to 1200 sand scratches. I love this product. I like to mix it in with other compounds, other polishes, because it just simply works. But I'm not really sure how much longer I'm going to be paying these crazy prices for the product. But you can never go wrong with this. If you have a pretty good conditioned boat, you can just simply go with this uh, 3M marine compound and finishing material. Then you can go to a polish and a wax and you'll be all set. Next in line is going to be Stark Elevate. Stark Elevate removes, this is a medium cut compound. This is very similar to this 3M, but this removes 1,000 to 1,200 sand scratches, whereas this one removes 800 to 1,200, so this is probably a little less fine. So this I use sometimes as a polish or a light cut, depending on whether I'm using the flex or the rotary buffer. Another pretty good product. It smells pretty good. So Stark, one thing you'll notice about Stark is they use raw products. They use more, I guess, they more, a lot of raw products, more natural products, not as chemical based. You can just tell by the smells, you can tell by the feeling. Um, you don't, this, some of this 3M guys, some of these 3M products are super, they're just super bad for you. And the reason I say that is because you'll notice, you'll have side effects. Like for example, if I'm breathing this product in all day long, I can tell my throat starts to hurt, I have a headache. This stuff is kind of toxic. Um, really, honestly, not something I really want to work with long term. But start, they have good smelling compounds and they work They work well. Um, they work well, they're raw products and they're good to work with. Uh, I've really enjoyed Start within the past month or two that I started using their products. Now, I actually forgot a compound, hang on. This is Stark Restructure. This is a heavy cut compound as well. This would fall in between, so basically it would go Stark Level R, it would go 3M Heavy Cutting Compound, then it would go to Stark Restructure. This is a heavy cut compound, removes 800 to 1000 grit sand scratches. Um, I use this sometimes, it leaves a good shine, but it doesn't have that, I guess, that cutting power that I'd like. 
it has a shine but it doesn't have that pure cutting so this is almost honestly this is a pure for me this is a mixing product i don't ever i hardly ever use this product straight um but yeah so then we'll go here and then we'll go to 3m and then we'll go to elevate now guys i use a lot of products and i guess you could say i'm, I'm more towards the advanced end if you're just beginning you want to keep it simple you know if, if you need to keep it simple stick to one product line stick to stark or stick to 3m and call it a day don't be buying all these random products um i again i still like to experiment and kind of do what's best for me so i will use a lot of different stuff so after that guys we have yeah so that, that's pretty much our full line then we go down to our Minzerna 400 which is our polish that i use with the flex if you guys watch other youtube videos you can see this is a standard product that i use um, in terms of polishing i either use elevate or i use Minzerna 400 um it's pretty simple so there are those oh okay so here is yeah so the guys that's pretty much all the compounds that i use i forgot just car power lock so these are the only two sealants that i carry with me hyper hold stark hyper hold just car power lock the reason i carry just car power lock is it's very versatile you can use this yeah you guys can, you can use this on anything you can use it on a boat you can use it on a car you can use it on an airplane I thought you're doing airplanes, but if you are, you can use it. And it's very versatile. You can use it on Isinglass. So I always carry this on me because, like, literally, there's always a chance for me to use this at some point. Again, this last, for my opinion, this is a <laughs> this is a great product, just like this one. Um, it, it's similar results from it. It's gonna last. Uh, I'm from Ohio, uh, freshwater. Boats are in the water six to seven months a year. This stuff works. There's no complaints. Uh, it's, it's pretty much like, it's, it's more of a blue. This is pretty much white. This is blue. The shine, I think the shine, the shine's very good on this product. E again, easy to work with. I haven't worked too much with it in direct sunlight, so I don't know about that for sure, but a good go-to product as well. Right here, I have Starbright Easy On, Easy Off. This is a hull and bottom cleaner. So. I will use this. This is a fiberglass safe acid. So you'll want to wear gloves. You don't want to get this on your hands. It does hurt. This will remove any marine growth that you have on the hull for the most part. Um, if this does not work, then you will have to go to sanding, but this will usually take care of most of that stuff. One of my favorite multi-purpose cleaners, but you don't want, well, yeah. So this is bathroom cleaner, Clorox bathroom cleaner. It does not have any, uh, it does not have any bleach in it, but it, it is something that you you don't you don't want to use this when after you've already waxed the boat. You don't want to use this. You want to use this before you wax the boat. This is a good cleaner, very multi-purpose use. I clean hatch tracks with this. Um, really, just one of my favorite cleaners, honestly. Clorox bathroom cleaner. That's it. Bleach free. It works well. All right, I've already went through everything in here. I hope you guys are staying with me. I know it's a lot to take in, but. If you have any questions, drop them below. I will answer them when I can. Um, so let's go ahead and finish up the last part of the video. So some of our final products, I always carry dish. Yeah, I, I mean, it can be anything. It can be Dawn, it can be palm olive. <laughs> Anyways, this is a dish soap. Uh, I don't get too particular. I just buy a dish soap, anything that's a degreaser. This works great cleaning non-skid before you wax and prep. Um, this is good for stripping wax off of boats. Don't ever use this after you've waxed your boat. This is a dish soap, so it is a degreaser. A great cleaning agent. Um, I always find a use out of this, so I always have Nami. Starbright non-skid deck cleaner. This uh, removes dirt from non-skid, leaves a non-slippery protective polymer coating. Now, I'm not really gonna buy into that, but it does work pretty good as a cleaner, and it works yeah, I mean, it cleans non-skid. It actually, it works. Um, I'll use it at times. You can use it after you've waxed or sealed non-skid. You can use it. It is safe for that. But honestly, kind of something that I haven't used too much recently, but definitely something good to have. In here, I keep my 99 or, well, in this case, this one's 91% alcohol. This is isopropyl alcohol, and I use this to prep both before I wax before I use a polymer sealant, before I use a ceramic coating, this is gonna clean the surface, gonna get rid of anything, any oils from the polishes, 
So this again is just another cleaning agent and it evaporates quickly so it's nice to have. It's almost like acetone. I actually do carry acetone as well um, for certain uses but I don't have that with me right now. But this is alcohol. And my two favorite degreasers, we have Super Clean and Purple Power. Just amazing degreasers. I actually really like Super Clean to clean out pads with, whether that's wool pads, foam pads. This is a pretty good for that. This is good on vinyl seats. This is simply, it's just a degreaser, guys. If you have a really dirty bow that you're trying to clean before you start buffing, you start uh, prepping and waxing, you can use this stuff. Same with Purple Power, another thing, another degreaser that works really well. They're a little bit different in a way. Um, I used to use Super Clean on non skid. Now I kind of sometimes will shy away from that. I'm not saying it's bad, but when I'm inside storage, I the boats are already dirty, so this is not a good product to use. But guys, you'll have to kind of get a feel for yourself. These are both degreasers, they work very well. These are two things that you want to carry on you as a detailer. They come in very handy. This is Barkeeper's Friend. It's a soft cleanser. This removes rust, stains, and tarnish. So this can remove stains from fiberglass at times. Um, it's worked for me sometimes, sometimes it hasn't. So I haven't used this in a good minute, but I do still carry it on me for some reason. Uh, I know they make other products out there that will actually remove rust and I'm sure they do it more efficiently than this product so if you find if you can find a product like that let me know because I'd actually be interested because I have not. Um, this is soft scrub with bleach so again this is just simply bleach soft scrub works good in terms of prepping non-skid works very nice and guys that is a wrap to the video because that is everything so yeah, I pretty much showed you everything that you're gonna need. Um, this is exactly what I'm bringing with me on this job. The only thing I didn't show you was perhaps applicators, but you know, you guys know what an applicator is. Um, if, if, if you use it, some people don't use applicators, but that is everything that I'm taking with me tomorrow to my next job. So guys, that um, is the video. And guys, I hope this video was helpful. If it was, leave a like, leave a comment. Make sure you to subscribe because guys, I will be releasing more videos. I'm trying to make more videos. It's been a very, stressful and sort of um, hard time for me recently, but I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna start making more videos. I currently work by myself for the moment, so there's just been a lot on my hands, uh, a lot of busy work that I've had to taken care of. So guys, with that said, that is a wrap. I hope you guys got a lot of information out of the, out of the video. I will see you on the next video. Peace out.